hey wonderful people welcome back to my channel today we are asked to solve for x in this amazing math question now one thing is sure since the power is what we are looking for at some point we are going to introduce log reading to both sides of the equation but for now let us try to bring down these things okay using let us try to solve this first using exponential laws okay now first divide let's divide both sides by five okay so if we do that we have three to the power of x multiplied by five to the power of x to the power of two divided by five is equal to 15 divided by five okay so we have three to the power of x multiplied by five to the power of x to the power of two divided by five is equal to now when five divides itself we have one if it divides 15 we have three and three over one is equal to three all right now let us divide again by three to the power of x okay you are going to see what i'm doing you are going to see why divide both sides by three to the power of x so if we do that we have three to the power of x multiplied by five to the power of x to the power of two divided by three to the power of x multiplied by five is equal to three divided by three to the power of x now three to the power of x we cancel each other are you seeing anything now we have this is in base five this is in base five this is in base three and this is in base three amazing right so now we have five to the power of x to the power of two divided by five is equal to three divided by three to the power of x okay all right now let us remember let us recall that one over x is equal to x to the power of minus one yes so that means that this can be written as so this can be written as five to the power of x to the power of two multiplied by one over five right is equal to three multiplied by one over three to the power of x okay yeah so if we apply the law that i just explained that means this can be written as five to the power of x to the power of two multiplied by let me bring this down a bit yeah multiplied by five to the power of minus one is equal to three to the power of one because this is three to the power of one multiplied by three to the power of minus six all right now recall that a to the power of m multiplied by a to the power of n is equal to a to the power of m plus n okay so we can write this as we are going to pick one base and then we add the powers we also pick one base here and we add the powers. so we write five raised to the power of x squared minus one is equal to three raised to the power of one minus six now i think this is now we are now in a better place to introduce log to both sides of this equation okay so log to both sides we have log 5x squared minus 1 okay is equal to 3 log 3 to the power of 1 minus x okay now recall that log a raised to the power of b is equal to b multiplied by log a so we can write this as x squared minus one multiplied by log five is equal to one minus x multiplied by log three okay now because you are looking for the value of x let's divide both sides by log five okay divide both sides by log five so we are going to have 
Need me to clean this side of the board. Is this the first time you are seeing this amazing face? If yes, please click the subscription button, turn on your notification bell so that you don't miss our videos. Okay? Yeah. We upload our videos all the time. So at your convenience, tune in. There must be something new to watch by God's grace. Then give us a thumbs up if you're actually enjoying this video. Thank you very much. So back to what we are doing. We want to divide both sides by log 5. So we have x to the power of 2 minus 1 log 5 divided by log 5 okay, is equal to 1 minus x log 3 divided by log 5. Okay? So log 5, we divide itself 1, divide itself 1. Yeah. So what we have here is x squared minus 1 is equal to 1 minus x multiplied by log 3 divided by log 5. Now, using change of base, if we use change of base, remember that log A divided by log B is equal to log A base B. Now, we can write this as x squared minus 1 is equal to 1 minus x log 3 base 5 okay so we can write this as x squared minus 1 is equal to minus 1 bracket now when we introduce minus 1 minus minus is plus x minus times this will give us minus 1 right so if we open this bracket we still get this so we have log 3 base 5 all right Now, let us bring this to this side, okay? So if we do that, we have x squared minus 1, then minus 1 will cross to become plus 1, right? So plus 1 bracket x minus 1 log 3 base 5 is equal to 0, right? Yeah, so this sentence has x squared minus 1 plus x minus 1 log 3 base 5 is equal to 0. Now we can express this as x squared minus 1 squared. So we write x squared minus 1 squared plus x minus 1 log 3 base 5 is equal to 0. Now remember that a squared minus b squared is equal to a minus b multiplied by a plus b. So we can write this as as x minus 1 multiplied by x plus 1 then plus x minus 1 log 3 base 5 is equal to 0. Now we can factorize x minus 1 from both sides, right? So we have x minus 1. When this is divided by this, we have x plus 1 remaining. Plus when this is divided by this, we have log 3 base 5 remaining is equal to 0. Now remember that a multiplied by b, when a multiplied by b is equal to 0, then either a is equal to 0 or b is equal to 0. Okay? So if we apply that here, if we apply that here, then we will have that x minus 1 is equal to 0 or x plus 1 plus log 3 base 5 is equal to 0. 
Now for the left hand side this, your x is equal to 1. That is the first value of your x. Now for this one, we can see, if we want to solve this, let me clean this and use this side please. Hope you are enjoying this class. Hope you are enjoying this class. Okay. All right. Now let's continue. So for this, we have that x is equal to, let's shift this to this side. So it's going to be minus 1 minus log 3 base 5. Okay. Minus 1 minus log 3 base 5. So we have x is equal to, recall that log a base a is equal to 1. Okay. So this implies that log 5 base 5 is equal to 1. Now, let us write, replace 1 with log 5 base 5. So we have minus log 5 base 5, then minus log 3 base 5. Okay. So, x2, that is the second value of our x then, is equal to minus bracket. When this is divided by this, we have positive. When this is divided by this, we have another positive. Now, we can apply the law of logarithm. Yes, the law of logarithm that states that log a plus log b is equal to log a multiplied by b. Now, note that this doesn't have any base. That means both of them are in base 10, and the answer is also in base 10. So if we apply this to this, it simply means that the answer is x2 is equal to minus log 5 times 3 base 5, right? So the second value of x is minus log 15 base 5. Therefore, the first value of x is 1. The second value of x is this. Now let us verify. Let's verify our solution. So verifying the solution... Let's verify. So we have 3 to the power of x multiplied by 5 to the power of x to the power of 2 is equal to 15. Now the first value of our x is 1. Okay? So we say 3 to the power of 1 multiplied by 5 to the power of 1 squared is equal to 15. So you can see that 3 multiplied by 5 is equal to 15. So 15 is equal to 15. So that proves that the answer we got is correct. Thank you so much for watching. See you in my next video. Bye.